Hey, if you're on the hunt for a fast handling, accurate, and great looking deer rifle that might just be the best ground blind and tree stand hunting rifle ever, you're gonna wanna watch this entire video. Check it out. So I'm out here at deer camp and it just dawned on me that I've been hunting with this rifle now for four years. This is my fourth season using it and I could probably come up with a pretty good opinion about it at this point. So I figured I'd tell you about it. Now what we've got here is a Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact chambered in 243 Winchester. Just want to give you a real good look at the rifle right there. Now before we get into it, I'm going to tell you right off the bat that I love this rifle. I'm a certified fanboy of the Winchester Model 70, especially the compact model. So my favorite thing about this rifle is that it's a compact model. It's not a full-size gun, but it's not a youth model. So here, I'll shoulder it for you. You can kind of see I do have to choke up on it, but it doesn't feel too small. And I'm kind of a big guy. I'm six foot two, about 265 pounds. And even I can shoot this well. It doesn't feel too tiny for me. It's got a 20 inch barrel, a 13 inch length of pull. It's 39 and a half inches overall, and it only weighs six pounds, eight ounces. Man, it doesn't get much better than that. So you might ask, well, how is it different from a regular Model 70 Featherweight? Well, a regular Model 70 Featherweight has a 22 inch barrel or 24 if it's a Magnum chambering and a 13 and a half inch length of pull. So while it's not that much smaller, it does make a big difference, especially when getting in and out of tree stands, tripods, ground blinds. That's why I love this gun. Now, originally I bought this gun actually as a tree stand rifle, as odd as that may sound. The property that I hunt out here in East Texas is heavily wooded. There's not any permanent blinds that are up anymore. There used to be some tripod stands, but what we do have is a whole ton of trees and we have some really nice pine trees that kind of are conducive to hunting out of tree stands in. So I wanted a rifle that was compact, lightweight, and didn't recoil a whole heck of a lot so that I could hunt from tree stands with it. Now what's funny about that is over the last few years I've stopped hunting out of tree stands and I've moved totally to ground blinds and had great success doing that. I was just hunting this morning, I saw four does, no bucks came by, right now we can't kill a doe in our county. So ground blinds have been the name of the game for me and this rifle fills the bill there too. So imagine you're in a ground blind, right? And you need to be able to clear stuff, maybe you've got burlap set up, maybe it's natural, you got brush and stuff. A short compact rifle really helps a lot. If you're sitting in there and you've got your rifle down on your knees and you see a deer come out or whatever and you want to raise this rifle up if it's longer it can get caught on whatever your blind is made of unless you got a particularly large ground blind mine are all natural that i use i kind of prep them uh, the morning of the hunt a lot of the time right when i'm going into them i'll make my blinds and having a short rifle really helps you clear everything and not you know spook a deer whenever you're trying to take aim because your barrel's too long now something else that I want to show you is the forend right here. When this rifle was slung, hopefully you can see this. I'll show you here. I'll sling it. I like to carry my rifles slung upside down. It just feels kind of natural to me for whatever reason. All right, so hopefully you can see this. The height of the rifle, the length of the rifle, the length of the forend makes it where when it's slung like this, my hand naturally will rest around that schnabel forend tip and it makes it really really easy to just kind of keep the rifle steady and not bouncing around and up on my shoulder while i'm carrying it with a regular featherweight that schnabel tip is a little bit further down and it just doesn't feel as perfect this one is dead on and you're going to have to forgive me about the audio cord i'm trying to have good audio for you so you can hear what i'm saying it's going to be dangling around sorry now function wise, everything about the Model 70 Compact is the same as any other Model 70, but it bears repeating. So you've got a controlled round feed bolt here. It's got the full length claw extractor. And something that I really, really like is that it has a five round capacity. A lot of rifles nowadays only carry four rounds in the magazine. This will hold five, even in a short, you know, somewhat fat caliber like 243. You got five in the magazine right here and it's really easy to unload here i'll show you so you got a floor plate a little button not to mention it looks absolutely beautiful there's a lot of ugly floor plates and you know this one looks good all you do is press that button to unload and i have the rounds in here to show you and there you go all five rounds that easy i mean what isn't to love about this thing all right let's talk purely about aesthetics here have you ever seen a prettier gun? I mean, come on, some of the you know fancy European stuff, but as far as a regular everyday deer rifle, I don't think I have. So let's take a look at the checkering. You've got some really nice checkering on the grip and the forend with these really pretty floor patterns. 
The checkering is really crisp and clean. There's no, you know, dings or marks that mess up the pattern here. Now this is not hand cut checkering. I'm not sure how they did this. It's either pressed or lasered or a combination of the two. I do have some uh, made in USA Winchester Model 70s from the 2010s that do have hand cut checkering and it is nicer than this. But for the price, and, and especially nowadays, you, you, you almost can't get hand cut checkering anymore unless it's a custom gun. You really can't beat this and it looks really good. Also, I did forget to mention that this is one of the newer Model 70s that are made in Portugal. This is not made in USA. And to be honest, I don't think they've ever been made better. All right, I've got it flipped over to take a quick look at the wood. It's really nice walnut. The stain is nice. The finish is really nice. It's not fancy grade or anything like that. But for a deer rifle, I mean, come on, it's beautiful. And I'll mention a little bit about the accuracy of this rifle, at least from what I've seen at the range. I'll try and throw some pictures up here on the screen. I think I have some saved on my phone. With almost every kind of ammo that I've shot through this thing, it goes to almost the same point of aim with almost the same level of precision. I haven't really seen that with any other rifle. I'm not saying that, that your Model 70 Compact would do that too if you managed to pick one up, but this one definitely does. I'm currently hunting with just, you know, inexpensive Federal Power Shock 100 grain soft point stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. I killed a doe with one three weeks ago. It does the job. Besides this, I typically use Remington 100 grain core locked, another great option, inexpensive, affordable been around forever you don't need the fancy stuff but i have shot uh, some barns loads through here federal fusion what else uh, hornady outfitter that stuff just came out in the last few years it's pretty nice ammo um, all of it shot right around one moa some of the loads are a little bit more accurate actually the most accurate load that i've shot out of this is the the cheapest the federal power shock this stuff is like three quarters of an inch at 100 yards it's nuts now there's one thing that I don't really like about this rifle. It's not a deal breaker. It's not even really that big of a deal. But if I had to pick something and it's hard because I love this thing, this would be the one thing that I would change. And that one issue, if you even want to call it that, is how easy it is to open this bolt. Now it's a little bit easier right now because I don't have it loaded. But rest assured, even if it is loaded, all you got to do is put just barely any pressure at all and that bolt opens up. I haven't actually had any issues with it while I was hunting. Maybe that's because I'm cognizant of it and I make sure to you know, check and make sure it's closed. But I'm thinking about it sometimes and if I'm stalking through the woods or maybe I'm in a blind and, and knock it, I just kind of worry about how easy it is to open. Again, I'm, I'm not like gonna stop using the rifle. I love it. I've never had an actual in-use issue and it's kind of a victim of its own perfection. I mean, the action is so good and so smooth. It feels great that it just opens really easily. Maybe you like that, I don't know. Um, hey, I had to pick something, right? Now, as of right now, as I record this, it's December, 2022, I checked the Winchester website. They only chamber the Model 70 Featherweight Compact in 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.5 PRC, 6.8 Western, 7 millimeter odd 8, and 308 Winchester. I got them. That's right. Go check. Uh, they don't do 243 anymore, which which I'm really sad about because I think I thought I just saw a coyote. It's just weeds moving. Don't worry about it. Um, I wish they did 243 still. They don't. They phased it out a few years ago. I'm really glad that I got my rifle when I did because. It, there's hardly any recoil. It's super accurate. It's like a laser beam. It's plenty for East Texas deer, which is where I'm at. I'm out in East Texas. And I wish they'd bring it back. Winchester, if you're listening, or you know whoever makes Winchester rifles now, I don't know who the parent company is. Um, Olin, no, that's the ammo. Regardless, whatever, bring back 243, please, please. Now this doesn't have anything to do with the rifle itself, but I figured you might want to know what my scope setup is. So I'm running a Leopold FX2 fixed six power. Sadly, these were discontinued a few years ago. They still have the FX3 six power scope, but it is a little bit bigger. And I've got that on Tally Ultralight Rings. I absolutely love this setup. So even if you're a bigger guy, I highly recommend checking out the Winchester Model 70 Featherweight Compact model. It's not too small. It's not a youth model. It's, I like it better than the regular Featherweights, which I've got two of. I take this one hunting more if that says anything. Now, if you want to see more stuff like this from an actual deer hunter, not someone on a fancy ranch who's got a whole ton of money or who has a bunch of sponsorships and they're telling you what to say, 
sub to my channel. I'd love to make more videos for you and check out my website, masonleather.com. I make the cartridge cuffs, the slings, cartridge wallets, a bunch of cool stuff. I've been doing it for over 10 years. I'd love to make you something. And I also just posted a short where we're ringing some steel with the same rifle offhand at 100 yards. Go check that one out.